greetings greetings from pune we are going to discuss trash lesions of the elbow trash which is acronym for the radiographic appearance seem harmless so here are two radiographs the one on your left hand side is a 9 year 6 month old boy with a history of injury and the other one is a neonat are they same is it just elbow dislocation or something else is there something which we are missing in these radiographs well we'll discuss about those findings as we move further so what are trash lesions so this is the term coined by this classic paper published in 2010 by dr waters uh, out of boston so the unossified medial condyle humerus fracture unossified transphyseal distal humeral fractures entrapped medial epicondylar fractures complex osteochondral elbow fracture dislocations in a younger child or entrapped osteochondral regions fractures of the radial head with radiocapitular subluxation montegia fracture dislocation especially with plastic deformation in a young child and lateral condyle avulsion shear fracture so all these fractures all these injuries they constitute a spectrum where the radiographic appearance is harmless but if it is not picked up and treated properly the consequences can be very difficult to treat usually all these injuries they occur because of high energy trauma such as fall uh, all of them are osteochondral fractures they are typically seen in a child younger than 10 years of age most of the times these fractures are associated with spontaneously reduced and unrecognized elbow dislocation and it's the elbow dislocation during which the osteochondral osteochondral fragment gets chipped off or gets fractured and gets trapped in the joint history and clinical examination is very important history of high energy trauma is then in majority of the cases the elbow is swollen more than anticipated there will be restriction of flexion extension or pronosopination muffled crepitus which is typical of a cartilaginous lesion will be seen there will be some soft crepitus with movements so one has to have really high index of suspicion if the clinical examination is not in line with what x ray is showing or what the injury is based on history just a recap at uh, all of you know at what ages the secondary ossific centers appear in the elbow the cri toe the capitulum the first one to appear which is around age of 1 year the radial head appears around age of 3 years the internal or the medial epicondyle appears around age of 5 or 6 years so in a child younger than 5 years of age typically you will see only capitulum and radial head the trochlea appears around age of 7 years the olecranon around age of 9 years so all these they are uh, approximately 9 or less the lateral epicondyle or the external epicondyle it will appear around age of 11 years radiographic evaluation is very important the lines which we draw to evaluate radio elbow x ray are the anterior humeral line which will tell us whether uh, how is the alignment of the capitulum compared to the shaft of the humerus ideally it should bisect the capitulum the radio capitular line a line drawn along the shaft of the radius again it should bisect the capitulum but in a younger child it may pass slightly more superior humero ulnar line it will tell us whether there is any lateral subluxation or not the bowman of the humero capitular angle is also important so while doing radiographic evaluation it is important that the x rays are obtained in correct orientation sometimes it is necessary to obtain x rays of the unaffected elbow 
as you can see in this radiograph, this is the injured side and this is the normal side. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint fingers, but one may see that this is a slight virus and something is going on over here and maybe you can see some ossification or some fleck of bone which is not seen on that side. So something is not correct with this side. Sometimes it's necessary to obtain traction or oblique views uh, and high index of suspicion is very important. So if you look at this x-ray, it's hard to tell what's really going on apart from elbow dislocation, what's the position of the medial epicondyle. So in those cases, one should consider getting advanced imaging. Ultrasonography is one of the modality to evaluate these radiographs, but ultrasonography is operator dependent. Uh, one need to have training to pick up the things which is seen, which are seen in ultrasonography. It's easy as it doesn't need any sedation. So as example, um, as cited in a paper published in a Korean journal, uh, a lateral condyle fracture was picked up on sonography in a child who is less than two years of age. MRI is the modality of choice. So cartilaginous anatomy is visualized better, but however it needs sedation and uh, it needs to be done um, when the child is anesthetized. So here is an example which shows a fracture of the radial head. There is a subtle posterior subluxation of the radiocapitular joint. And the MRI confirms that, showing that the, there is a anterior compression fracture of the radial head and that was fixed with screw. Arthrography is another excellent modality. It can be done under same anesthesia and it allows dynamic examination. So always if one is seeing a suspected medial epicondyle fracture or some swelling along the medial side in a young child, before the appearance of medial epicondyle or ossific nucleus, one should consider doing advanced imaging. So here this arthrogram confirms that the dye is extravasating outside the joint. It confirms the diagnosis of medial condyle fracture, which was treated with k -wires. There is another example, uh, X-ray in a nine-year-old nine boy with medial-sided elbow pain. It is not very pathognomic, but there is some swelling over there. Many times CT scan is obtained, but CT scan will not show the cartilaginous anatomy and it, it really doesn't add if one is suspecting cartilaginous fracture. So MRI was done. MRI confirms that there is a displaced medial epicondyle fracture, as you can see in those pictures. And those are intraoperative stress views. So, so the stress view shows that the elbow is opening up with the valgus stress and it is subluxating. So that was fixed with K wires. So advanced imaging, if you are suspecting a trash lesion, is a must. So we will look at some of the uncommon fractures or some of the fractures which constitute these trash lesions. So coronal shear fractures, these are very uncommon injuries which affect the trochlea. There are various names, as you can see in this radiographs. It's, it's a big chunk, but sometimes this diagnosis is very difficult given the rarity of injury and treatment is also variable. So that was the previous classification uh, where there were different eponyms for these fractures. But recently in 2017, the Boston group has published uh, a simpler classification where they classify into three types. And again, each type is divided into undisplaced and displaced. So these are the anterior ones, these are the posterolateral ones, and these are the condyle ones. So here, if the fracture is displaced, then the treatment is surgical. As, as you can see that if these injuries are not picked up, the elbow is going to be stiff and elbow is going to have pain. So in a nutshell, treatment is from diagnosis. Early treatment is necessary because these fractures heal very quickly and it may not be possible to restore the articular anatomy after a few weeks. Typical implants that are used are K-wires, sutures for osteochondral flaps, mini plates and screws. One should use rigid internal fixation to allow for early mobilization 
and sometimes it is necessary to repair the ruptured ligament if instability persists so that ligament rupture will be picked up by the mri scan so here is an example a 7 year old boy with suspected medial epicondyle injury so arthrogram was done the the fragment was tracked inside the joint so open arthrotomy was done the fragment was removed and it is fixed with k wires so coming back to the first two x rays that we saw at the beginning the one on the right side in the neonate was a transpharyngeal separation of the distal humerus so that was treated with close reduction intraoperative arthrogram which confirmed the diagnosis and percutaneously placed k wires the other radiograph of a 9 year 6 month old boy this was a fracture dislocation so here definitely it's a fracture dislocation i'm not sure what's going on over here whether there is a fracture over here something is definitely going on even this lateral radiograph looks very suspicious so in the emergency department a prompt reduction was done however it was felt that the elbow is very unstable so it was put in a above elbow slab and advanced imaging in the form of mri was obtained so mri showed that it's a it's a medial epicondyle fracture associated with injury of the lateral collateral ligament and also fracture involving radial neck which is in angulation so this was treated with open reduction of the medial epicondyle fragment it was fixed with a screw after screw fixation the elbow instability which was which you can see with the stress radiograph was gone hence decision was made not to repair the lateral sagittal ligaments the patient was put in a above elbow slab for a couple of weeks and thereafter he made an eventful recovery so these fractures can be associated with severe complications of course the complications may arise because of failure to make accurate diagnosis these fractures may lead to vascular necrosis heterotopic ossification around the elbow periarticular contractures leading to elbow stiffness and late joint subluxation especially of the radio capitular joint so in a nutshell when you see a radiograph which appears sort of normal looking or there is a fleck of bone but it doesn't match with your clinical examination one should have high index of suspicion are we dealing with these trash lesions one should consider early additional imaging like mri or arthrogram so once that prompt accurate diagnosis is made it needs early surgical treatment and of course it is important to counsel the family about the results because despite of best treatment the results may not be satisfied thank you